The aim of this series of videos is to showcase houses which feature interesting or novel environmental approaches. This design in Otaki is a good example of the creative response to a site which has the most favourable views to the south. The initial brief was for solar power, heated slab, um, water tanks obviously which you have to have, and uh, connection to the land. So, so the design had to yeah, face away from the sun, even though we had to have big windows and use that as the public face of the building. And the private outlook of the building was to the green of the Tararuas and the farm. But at the same time, we had these uh, critical brief around sustainability. We ended up having the garage as a separate um, accessory building with a linkage. And you sort of come up the drive and you see the cedar door and it was like an arrival for this, this older client. He was coming to his place. It was, so the garage was on the, south, the northern side of the house, but we had quite a big kind of inner courtyard, about four or five metres, between the garage and what was their bedroom, and their bedroom faced north into the garage, so it was quite private because we had this kind of linkage wall between garage and front door. So their, their house was getting all the northern, their bedroom was getting the northern sun, and then the bedroom went out to the east in the morning sun and looked right across to the Tararuas and all the morning eastern sun. And then we turned around and went into the ensuite, which faced south. And we had this big window in the ensuite of the southern view. So we got that kind of. That's where we got the southern view and the and, and getting the northern sun in. We came into a front hall, which opened onto the the rear cul-de-sac, but actually looked straight through with glazing right through to the south view. So you walk in and you look straight. You're thrown out into the into the rural a view. And then you turn it into this big open plan living dining kitchen. But between the, from the living little, little kind of um, zone is this kind of internal street at a lower ceiling level. And you, so you walk in the front door, having come off, the, and you walk down through the middle of the house across the street. And the other end to the south end was where we put their required craft room. So the street ended in their activity space street, and then it carried on in a much lesser um, program to the sort of guest wing which headed south and when it came to the critical aspects of the northern view and the northern sun we had these, this big wall of, of as I said trifold doors um, at the long edge of the living room and then you went from the living room across that little living room space and it had windows to the east and the west but we did the the classic thing of having um, like about a maybe 1.5 stretch of ceramic tile on the floor, concrete slab facing alongside the northern window. And then of course there was this actual need and reality to have, to have the building quite cool throughout summer and not have all of this constant sunshine. So the building has, um, is torn between looking to the north and the access and the, and, the, and the entrance and then opening out to the south which was the main um, view for, for sort of lifestyle in the house. We only ended up having to have two solar panels, two metres long and 1,200 wide. The water that was heated by the solar then was used to heat the uh, in-slab heating. Um, so that went directly into the in-slab heating um, and because we selected all that was required by the, by the brief to have um, heated floor slab Instead of doing it with electric, we went with the with the water heating through the through the through the um, materials of the of the um, in system. And I've did so many sun diagrams trying to make sure that when the sun came up in the winter and in the summer, that it was going to get this lovely, really early morning sun. If you are an architect or designer and are interested in featuring one of your works, please contact Brands.